Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this absolutely gorgeous uh, mid-October day we are very excited to be doing a quick walk around video of these freshly arrived six 2022 model Compass van conversions and motorhomes. Now these are the very first 2022 models, they're the only ones you'll see anywhere and they are with us, they've been out with us a week or so and they're with us for the rest of the month of October 2022. So we're taking this uh, rare opportunity to have a walk around and see what's new and what is available and what Compass are doing for 2022. So those of you who follow the motorhome market will know that it is a little bit difficult for manufacturers at the minute. There's big chassis supply problems and things aren't going as smoothly as they normally would. There's no NEC show this year so us the dealers and you the consumer will struggle to see much in the way of uh, 2022 models on four courts yet. So Compass have uh, set free their demonstrator fleet to the dealers across the country and they're having a bit of a road show and moving from branch to branch and then they'll be off to the NEC in February by which time a lot of things will be sold out so if you are thinking of ordering a new motorhome or van conversion it's worth coming and see these at the Devon branch of Highbridge as soon as you can. Now walking past we've got Luke our salesman here who bizarrely has got a lantern and is getting in the way of these 2022 compasses but he's casting some light upon the delight that is the compass range. Now we're gonna have a quick look at the models that we've got. This is a CV40 van conversion, it's 5.99 meters. This particular one is a manual with a white paint and a optional alloy wheels and it's 46601. And this was one of our best selling van conversions and Compass's best selling model across the country for the last two years. Fantastic value, very well built actually, uh, as well built or better than much more expensive vans. Four seat belts, three berths, 5.99 metres long, of course, with full toilet and shower. You've got an underslung gas tank, TV aerial, blinds and fly screens, cab aircon and cruise, all in with that price as well. Very, very good news. If you want an automatic or a grey one or some extra factory bells and whistles, we do have them on order. Well, this actual van, once it's been to the NEC in February, will be coming back to us and it is available for long-term reservation and it's the only way you can actually guarantee yourself to be on the road next March with a Compass CV40. So looking at this, we've got twin swivel cab seats to the front there and then we've got a double forward facing seat with two seat belts, table drops down, makes a small single bed of about a metre and a half, 1.4 metres with a mattress topper but it's still a little bit bumpy uh, but it's there which is better than most. Clever drawers on the end of the kitchen, we like that, electric step and if we have a little look down there we'll see quite a well equipped kitchen we've got an oven with combi grill uh, you can have a microwave up there that's a factory fitted only option though so you can't have one on this but the others we have on order have that we've got a really nice 12 volt fridge freezer which is up the top there wardrobe underneath and then an end lounge at the back with nice wrap around windows and skylights and up lighters and things which are rather pretty and that simply makes a good size transverse double bed uh, we've got a table at the front we've got a freestanding table for the back that fits in there we've got full carpets we've got a tv aerial uh, tv bracket as well tv point and concertina posh blinds and fly screens which are very quiet on the road so she's very well equipped for uh, the price of a second hand van you can have this brand new uh, compass wet room bathroom like all van conversions nice and modern pull that out clip it up there if you're showering very efficient so three berths 5.99 meters 46,000 and a bit on the road and this is the Compass CV40. So we're not going to go into great depth because we'll have a look around at all the others, but the CV40 came first, best selling model, one of the best selling van conversions in the UK, can't get them enough. Uh, it's a sister van, it's a CV80, which is exactly the same in every way, apart from it's got a pop top on top. Uh, a little bit more about Compass. Compass are a, a second biggest motorhome maker in the UK. Uh, they're in the northeast. They are a proud part of the Erwin Heimer group since 2017-18 when the Germans uh, swallowed them up and that's brought a lot of buying power and a lot of expertise and, uh, and, and a good difference in the build quality actually these are good news so this is a CV80 so it's exactly the same as a CV40 inside it is more expensive so CV40 is a tin top 
for an extra £5,000 you can have a CV80 to the same spec with a pop top. This particular one has got the super duper 9 speed ZF automatic gearbox so it comes in at 53859 for this. Again we have grey ones on order, we've got ones with sat nav on order, we've got ones with wind out awnings on order so if you want some more factory bells and whistles you're willing to potentially wait longer we can put your name on one of them or you can put your name on with a long term refundable holding deposit subject to a second viewing in March on these compass demos which we will be buying. Uh, so this is a CV80, it's all the same inside as the CV40 uh, but it's got the wonderful pop top which is a Heimer pop top the same as you'll see on Heimer cars and why is that good? It's good because Heimer are German and build some of the world's best motorhomes and it's also good because it's the only pop top I can think of with a large hecky roof light in it which is good when it's down and it's good when it's up and up there you will see if I can stretch a very very nice very very large full length double bed six foot plus full width of the van got lights and the skylight up there it's a really good place to be so that along with your rear lounge which of course still makes a double gives you four berths in the cv80 this area does not make a bed in a cv80 because there's no point you got four berths four seat belts so that's the cv80 range it's five grand more expensive than a cv40 and this particular one's automatic 53859 very very popular both of these models we have limited availability we were restricted on what we're allowed to order by compass because they physically don't have the capacity due to covid restrictions and all these supply problems to build enough vans next one along the compass navigator range it is the dedicated lightweight narrow body coach built so if i have a look down the side you can see it is exactly the same width as the cab so this coach built is exactly the same dimensions as this van conversion it's the same length 5.99 meters it's the same width which is uh, 2.2 with the mirrors folded or 2.05 body width and it goes, it's just going to a bit more usable space because it's square very slightly shorter uh, um, very slightly taller and it's squared off compared to the uh, curvy van conversions but by looking at this full width concerto down there you can see the difference in the width there so these are a delight to get down the country lanes there's two in the range there's the compass navigator 120 which this is at 48669 and there's compass navigator 105 which is the same body shell 5.99 meters uh, narrow body with an end washroom but these are fantastic looking vans you've got the alloy wheels these have got cab blinds a standard slightly more expensive slightly higher standard if uh, standard kit blue sides good looking van very very light lighter than the van conversion 120 is a dedicated two berth it's very UK friendly and um, we love this sort of thing in the UK Flight screen door swivelly cab seats cab air con and cruise and a panoramic skylight and navigator as well we've got a freestanding table and we've got the classic British layout Kind of like a caravan layout it really really works of a very big end lounge so twin sofas i think you can have this as a full u shape if you prefer without the chest of drawers most people want the chest of drawers single beds or slide it together for a huge double big wrap around windows big skylight nice kitchen with a under counter fridge freezer oven and grill you can have a microwave up there We've not got many of these, we've nearly sold them all. So I think we might have one fresh production one left or you can have this one, as I say, with a long-term reservation deposit. I like this underneath the wardrobe. There's a lift up table there for more workspace, good size wardrobe and the same wet room bathroom you'll find in the van conversions. So good news, 48.6 is it? Yeah, 48.6, brand new. And that's the Compass Navigator. 120. Moving along, we've got the Compass Concerto range. There's two vans in the Compass Concerto range. These are the uh, the, the the range topping ones. This one's priced at 60,000. These are based on Fiat. You can have these with an automatic gearbox. Navigators based on the identical Peugeot that doesn't offer the automatic gearbox. Again, it is a beautiful looking van. It's got the uh, the blue metallic sides, alloy wheels, cab lines. These have got Aldi wet radiator heating as standard. So these are full size vans, but they're still three and a half tons. So all Compass motorhomes are three and a half tons. So anybody can drive them regardless of driving license and age um, big panoramic roof light again this is a 255 which is a french bed van so it's a side bed uh, they also do an island bed van the 250 in the same range uh, island bed takes up a bit more space which obviously gives you a bigger bedroom this takes up a bit less space of bed so it gives you uh, gives you a little bit uh, more room in the rest of the van you've got an outside barbecue point external plug sockets 
you can have a factory awning and some extra bells and whistles if you wish we've only got a couple of these or maybe even one for the year so uh, grab it while you can coming in through the middle door we've got the new wood finish for this year we've got the microwave big oven as standard and then we've got a twin sofa front lounge so stepping around to the front of the van it's a nice spacious comfortable lounge very english in its styling uh, now normally it's twin sofas so you've got a sofa there and then you've got another sofa there now we folded this one up at the moment so you can see this isn't fully made up you pull another couple of levers that turns into a forward facing seat belted seat this is a feature seen on quite a few of the compass coach built that's an agouti crash tested german seat belted seat that will end up forward facing so when you've got passengers you can accommodate them there and there and when you don't just fold it away it takes up barely any room or you can remove it completely if you're never going to use it bench seats back down again and that gives you all this lovely floor space radiators there for your dog to sit on as well fantastic really nice place to be so that's the lounge which is very british looking back down the van it's a nice spacious thing so we've got really big kitchen there very deep cupboards full height wardrobe this is why saving space with the side bed you've got bigger wardrobe bigger kitchen fantastic fridge freezer this is new for this year really really big storage on top of that as well good size side fixed bed they're the cushions from the uh, from the front uh, that's currently down as or up as the seat belted seat and then into the bathroom you've got a really nice bathroom with a separate shower and again the wet radiator heating in there so very opulent it's 60 grand it looks 60 grand uh stacks up in fairness price wise still a bit cheaper than the competition spec for spec decent value and you'll find these they say they're pretty solid in fairness to it. for the money they're well built vans so that's the compass compass concerto 255 so that's the range topping one, but if you want an island bed, you can have a 250, same thing, just with a different layout. Speaking of island beds, it takes us along to the Compass Avant Garde 150. So the Compass Avant Garde 150 was a new model for last year, and it's the best selling, for us at least, um, Compass uh, Avant Garde coach built. So this is 7.4 metres. It's not a wide van, as you can look down the side there. It's 2.2 width-wise, it's barely any wider than the cab. Uh, this one... 52669 we've got some others on order which have got say more spec microwave reversing camera cab blinds um, which are a, a sort of later probably a later delivery who knows when they're getting delivered these days uh, or this one can be reserved for a guaranteed march availability and we can fit any extra bits that you want so you've got alloy wheels Peugeot Boxer underneath a manual gearbox 2.2 140 same engine as the Fiat built in the Fiat factory grade 3 fully winterized uh, double glazed throughout Fly screen door, loose fit carpets all the way through. You've got the same twin sofa front lounge idea with the seat belts beneath as you'll find in the Concerto 255 we just looked at. We've got the big skylight above, TV point at the front there, and it's a nice lounge, it's a nice place to be. You've got a concertina blind that comes across there to segregate the front for the back, and you can use this as two singles or a double bed. Nice kitchen with room for a freestanding table there. And four big cupboards above or you can order one of these with a microwave there if you prefer uh, loads of drawer space big oven lift that up there that's a good size and then here's why you buy a 150 it's got a nice big island bed in a nice big bedroom with big side windows loads of storage hers and hers wardrobes and drawers either side uh, this one's got the optional bedding set Storage underneath of there is very good, but look at this, it's really low down. The thing you'll find with almost all island bed vans is the island beds are really high up to give you a big garage space underneath for bikes, which is fine if your name's Olga Corbett and you like jumping up into bed uh, or having to put your bed up and down. This is a dedicated low island bed. I can't think of really of many or any other vans out there with a dedicated low island bed, but there's no steps until you get to there with a small step up into the front but no steps to get into bed uh, and they're really popular for that reason because that's sometimes what the British market wants that the Europeans don't so these are British fans for British tastes even though they're from a, a German group big fridge freezer which I can't get into because I need to undo the travel catch down the bottom there nice little uh, dressing area with uh, plug sockets and things you can sit there and the gentleman can do their makeup before going down the blue oyster bar and into the bathroom it is a narrow body van so it doesn't have a separate shower so you're back into that modern spacious and practical wet room bathroom so that's a compass avant-garde 150 loads of interest in these 
Uh, we've ordered quite a lot of these, but we've already sold quite a lot of them. So you need to again get in your orders in early this year. Otherwise, things are genuinely going to sell out. Manufacturers can't build as many in demand. Still way outstrip supplies. 52.669 for that one. Final van is the six berth. So it's the Compass Avant Garde 196. This is one of the few six berth, six seat belt vans on the market. Same body shell as the 150. But it's six berths, um, so same from the outside, got the alloy wheels, Peugeot boxer base, 2.2140, three and a half tonne, that's the big thing with this, so 3,500 kilograms, that means anybody can drive it. If you're pushing 70 or you're over 70, you have to take a medical to maintain your, uh, your C1, your right to drive over three and a half tonne. Or if you passed after 1997, you'll need to take a different test and lessons completely to do that. People don't want to do that. Nice smart graphics, new for this year. Um, so this offers you six berths, six seat belts three and a half ton very very popular lots of space doesn't have the bulk storage of a fixed bed van but it's got lots of interior space so uh, it's all compromise fly screen door Oop, which is both of you two hands to do big front lounge there so you've got four seat dinette with two forward facing three point belts two rear facing three point belts like the plug socket there for plugging in your gaming systems or whichever your kids are using twin swivel cab seats in the cab big side sofa so you can drop the table down make this into a small double bed big single bed or slide that across and make that into a downstairs really big bed or you can if i'd connected the battery which i haven't use the drop down bed from above so you've got a large drop down double bed there press a button and it will come down to headrest level so then you've got double bed double bed and then turning around to the back We've got your kitchen, which is a very good sized kitchen with that big oven again, extra flip up workspace on either end, fridge, freezer and your drawers, four high level cupboards, which is great, or you can give two of them away to be in a microwave if you prefer. Nice and light in here, good mixture of colors. And then to the back there, you've got a very big twin sofa lounge. This wouldn't quite make single beds, um, not for adults anyway, but it will make a probably five foot by six foot two, six foot four huge double bed. So you've got three double beds, um, plenty of clothes storage there, good size wardrobe and uh, important bit of privacy screen to come across there to separate the front from the back. It's a nice place to be. TV point in the rear lounge. We can fit a TV point in the front lounge as well. And then into the bathroom again it's a narrow body van so easy to drive down the country lanes but it does kind of preclude a separate shower but you've got a good usable bathroom there and to be frank if there's six of you if you're a family you're probably going to be using the campsite facilities anyway for the vast percentage of the time so that concludes the 2022 compass motorhome and van conversion range now there are about another four or five in the model lineup which we also have on order um, you can speak to us about them do get your order in early folks if you want one any questions just contact us these are very very popular they're britain's second maybe even britain's best selling motorhome range i think they probably are these days uh, very very popular very good value and you get new vans for the price of a used one they are here until the end of october 2021 to look at and these are the 2022 models and then hopefully we might have some demos in of our own but who knows i could see this year with the um, chassis production and supply problems by the time the demos come in actually everything will be sold and there won't even be anything to look at so it's a difficult time so do contact us at highbridge motorhomes devon uh, have a chat about these new compasses we have a range of vans from other manufacturers not as many as we'd like but we're still the biggest dealer in devon and cornwall and we'll start doing a little walk around weekly vlog every week as well from now on but for the moment these have been the compass 2022 motorhome range at highbridge motorhomes devon thank you for your time goodbye